Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, everyone, to LSPDFR. We are here in San Ramon Police again in the 2015 Charger, this time a slick top version, as you can see by the beautiful array of lights that we got going on over there. Uh, this is a marked unit with the Valor. It's uh, available on LSPDFR for your guys' pleasure. So, yeah, we're going to get this started, and let's, uh, let's get this going. We legitimately have a fireman just walking on the streets. We are at the fire station, but I just think it's funny how he's actually walking. But we're going to be working down here in kind of like the business area. Um... Not sure why there are already sirens and stuff going on, like someone's hurt or something. But this is probably like an exact replica of what you would see if you were to go to San Ramon and see the police cars. Uh, except for the whole no license plate gig. But other than that, you don't have to worry about that. San Ramon police, they don't run without license plates. That's totally bullshit. But, you know, for the sake of this episode, that's how we're going to do it. Other than that, let's see if we can get anything going and see if we can get anything interesting. Um, first of all, uh, really quick, we have a biker who decided to turn from, uh, you know, to be honest, I've never seen a biker in the game like that. Um, I don't even know. I can pull them over. All right, well, right now, this guy, he uh, was failure to, he's running on a bike. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first ever, we have a bicycle pursuit. I just want to just take this in really quick because it's, oh shit, take this in because it makes zero sense at all. I don't understand how this is even going to happen. But uh, we're going to continue to be with this guy. I'm z not going to call in any ground units due to the fact that it would be extremely dangerous if I had my other officers around me and this guy's on a bike. I don't even know how this is possible, to be honest. This is fucking amazing. He is legit running from me on a bicycle. Holy shit. I don't even know what to do. I mean, oh, I don't think he'll be able to hit himself off because of the speed. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to kind of see how it's going. Probably going around 30 or 40 miles per hour. I have a feeling he's just gonna slide right past everyone. We gotta, f <laughs> we gotta figure out a way to stop this because this makes no sense. No sense at all. This is insane. I, I don't, I don't even know how to commentate this. <laughs> like, this is just fucking insane to me. Go around these cars and, uh, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of a substantial way that we can terminate this guy off of the bike. Maybe he could get into some freak. Maybe we could pinch him into, in, into a wall or something. What are you doing? Okay. Big ass group of bikers right there. Guy, he, he's, he's legitimately thinking he's not... Get off the fucking bike, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, this is... I don't know what to do. He's just fucking with me. He's legitimately fucking with me right now. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to give him a tap because we're gonna be doing this all day if we don't terminate this guy. I mean, seriously, let's see. Okay, and he just has extremely good balance and is able to hold on. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Even when I don't call in units, they still fucking hit me off my bike. Are they in pursuit with that guy? Or are they just dipshits? I think they're just dipshits. I'm gonna go ahead and get back into primary. Make sure that they don't come up behind me and hit me again. That was fucked up. Okay, they're turning. I gotta get this guy stopped, so we're gonna have to unfortunately hit him down to just stop this pursuit. Pull the bike over. Pull the bike over. Okay, he's... He is completely a uh, failure to yield and not cooperating at all with any of my commands. Get out of the way. See if we could get this guy. I really am... I'm like stunned on what to do here. This has never before happened at all. Out of all the times I decide to ever pull over a biker, be able to even get the chance to pull over a biker, he fucking runs from us. Like, that's just insane. Alright, you're gonna... Okay, I don't even care if we hurt him right now, because... Oh my god, are you kidding me? There we go. We got him. Suspect's gonna be down. Hands up. Do not move. It's a female. 
Okay, looks like we actually might have killed her from doing that. That was such a bad accident that the bike rim is still spinning. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty fucking phenomenal. Alright, let's get corner out for um, her. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to survive us hitting her off the bike. But uh, we had to get her stopped because she was either going to get hit by someone else and get killed Come or... On, what are you doing, dude? Calm down. Calm down. He is spazzing out. We got corner him out. I'm going to see if we could tow truck uh, the bike. I don't think this is possible. I'm kind of probably going into some really sketchy territory by doing this. But it, it's worth a shot just to kind of see what we could do. That wheel is still spinning, which is absolutely funny. Okay, here we go. This is tow truck. I would have legitimately got hit if I would have walked in front of it. All right, well, this scene's going to be clean. Code 4. We got the biker in custody or 1144, whichever one you want to look at. But we're going to be code 4 10 8. All right, now we have a suspect that is wanted that's been uh, located. His name's going to be Mario Gonzalez and be wanted for forgery. So we're going to go ahead and try to get to that general area so we can 10 15 this guy, which is uh, put him in custody. I'm not sure how far we got to go. That guy totally blew a red light. I absolutely love how the brake lights separate and light up. That looks amazing. We'll go ahead and get around these people. We are coming up to the guy about a quarter of a block away, so I'm going to deactivate all lights. Kind of gives us the impression of uh, sneaking up to him. Let's see if I could get a location on him. Mario Gonzalez, I believe the name was. Probably going to be the suspect crossing the road right now. Okay, so right now he did see us, so we're going to go ahead and try to move in and make the arrest. I'm also going to get additional units to our location in case he gets around. And it looks like he's getting around, so we're going to have to flip around here and do it like we did before. we got a unit coming in. Come on, guys. Oh, you guys can get this. I'm going to go in from behind. You guys go in in front. Try to get him. Just give him that love tap. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep, we got him. Oh, I just knocked down my guy. Hands up, dude. Don't move. Get on the ground before my officers start shooting you, because you know how it goes. Just don't, if you wouldn't have, if you would not have moved forward, he would have got hit by that car. Damn. Oh, look, we got another uh, San Ramon Charger unit on scene. I'm gonna go ahead. A lot of you ask me why I don't take the suspects to the jail. Honestly, it's a unnecessary. Uh, thing I don't really want to do. I'd rather have fun and kind of get into the nitty-gritty of it all um, You know sometimes I might do it, but other than that I'd rather have Transportation come and get him because that's the whole point uh, We have an assassination in progress, so that would definitely be something I would like to go get involved with I've never um Never done that before so let's see how that goes Be where it's at Looks like it's gonna be on the coastal one area, so we're gonna go ahead and get code three over to that location. Not sure, I've never uh, dealt with this call. Like I said, we kind of did a revamp of my game. I had to install everything uh, due to the fact it had some issues. But I kind of took the- oh, the motherfucker's in the back of my car. I just realized that. Transport didn't get him. Um, so yeah, I had to revamp the whole game. I put so many mods in. That, uh, I've never even had this many before, and the game's still working pretty damn good. Thank you for getting out of the vehicle. So right now, what this call is, is we're just looking for people that kind of look out of place. We're gonna pull over here and see if anyone is potentially being followed. I do believe that there is two suspects in this general location right here. One looks like he is being followed by another male at close quarters. Looks like it's gonna be this person right here. So I'm gonna get out. We're kind of gonna do a uh, mini foot patrol and just kind of stick to the ground so that way we have maximum control over the situation. Let's see if this guy tries to get back in line to going and following him. I don't think it's these guys, to be honest. I'm gonna make sure I am ready. I don't know, this is uh, pretty strange. Hey, it looks like he actually just might be a regular bystander. Okay, yeah, the uh, scene of the crime is actually moving down the street. Intelligence is coming through and telling us it's moving down the street. So let's go ahead and get in our car and uh, circulate more down the road. Go ahead and get back in traffic here. Come on, people, watch out. All right, again, we're looking for someone who possibly looks like they're being followed. 
or someone that might look like they're in distress, the 911 call came in and kind of dropped off. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull back in here. We'll do a quick search of the area, make sure that there's no one back here in premises such that they shouldn't be in the first place. Looks like the area is pretty clean, though. Looks like they're actually still migrating down the street. I'm not seeing or locating anything that looks out of the out of the ordinary, to be honest. Maybe you should get out of the fucking way, and then we won't have an issue, huh? Ever think about that? Okay, still moving down the street. I don't, um... I'm not quite sure what's going on with this call. Okay, yeah, bus is merging and totally hitting all these people. Try to get in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing, uh... It's anything out of the ordinary, to be honest. Nothing at all. So, I'm gonna go ahead and chalk this one up as a, uh... As a false call. Since I see nothing... Okay, we got shots fired. Shots fired. It's this guy right here. Hands. Let me see your fucking hands. Okay, shots have been taken down. Suspect is down at this time. I'm not sure if a civilian was taken out. Uh, there was shots fired, though. Hey, dude, get out of here with that shit. Don't hit him when he's already down. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if there's any down person. Oh my god. Watch the fuck out. What are you doing? What are you doing, you dumbass mother trucker? Oh my god, into a tree. I'm so glad I followed that in circles. Alright, we have the weapon picked up. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, corner service out here, but I'm going to get out of the middle of the road so that way we don't get hit. Uh, so we were able to locate uh, that suspect, which is actually pretty surprising. So it is... I'll have to really look at the mod, and next time we get that call, we'll actually have to take it slower. I took it pretty damn slow, though, and still uh, was, was shocked at what had happened. Oh, we got gang-related violence. I have not got that one either. So right now... We're going to go ahead and get down to this call for gang-related violence. It has no marker to it. Let's go ahead and... We're going to get code 3 uh, due to the fact that we're not exactly sure what's going on at this time. God damn, look at that traffic. Holy shit. I have not seen that. Don't... Okay. Uh, looks like we're going to be a few blocks away. Traffic is huge right now. Or not huge, but it's like it's dense. It's dense as fuck. Try to get past these, get through these intersections. Seriously, you're gonna just stand in the middle of the fucking road? No. Okay, I remember being through this before. I do remember these calls, actually, now that I think about it. I just haven't had them in. So, right now, there's gonna be a huge shootout. I'm gonna go ahead and take cover behind my car. And, uh, we're gonna have to return fire if these guys choose that that's gonna be the way that they wanna do this. Okay, guys, I don't know if you have weapons, but if you have guns, they got guns in their right hands, both of them do. We'll go ahead and get behind my patrol car, I'm gonna call in additional units. If these subjects still walk towards us, we're gonna have to open fire. We got units coming in. You guys, put down the weapons. Put down the weapons. Put them down. Put them down. Stop walking. I'm not going to retreat because if we, if we if retreat, we're going to lose our cover behind our vehicle. Nope. Nope. Put him down. Put him down. Stop aiming. Stop aiming. Stop aiming. Okay. Both of these guys are going to be down at this time. I got my other units behind us. Don't. Oh. Dicks. Okay. Shots are being fired. Got a guy to the left. Get the guy to the left. Okay, uh, there, I put some new mods in where it kind of makes it a little difficult to aim, which is actually pretty cool because not all the bullets should be spot on. So, now they're just killing random people. Um, it sounds really good though because of the gun sounds, I must admit. I, I'm okay with them killing them, everyone because it sounds good. When it sounds bad, it's just like, no, stop killing them all, oh no. But alright, that's gonna be a uh, code 4 on that. Okay, just murder everyone while you're at it, guys. I mean, just fucking Dexter everyone. Throw them in your fucking trunk, chop up their body, and then throw them in the fucking ocean. Might as well, huh? So we're gonna get out of here. That one actually wasn't that bad. I'm loving these gun sounds, and I'm loving the randomosity of the inaccuracy of the guns, too. Uh, so we're gonna be code 4, and we're gonna be 10 
And we're gonna go ahead and turn around and have a... We're not necessarily gonna have a chat. almost killed her. We're not gonna have a chat with this car because there's no one inside of it. But it's an improperly parked vehicle. And with the uh, police toolbox, we have the ability to kind of get more nitty gritty with the cars that are improperly parked on the side of the road. So uh, we're going to control L, let's get up on the right side and see what options we have, see if we might be able to retain. First, what I'm going to do, or anything, is we're going to get a plate check on this car. Kind of know what's going on, the history of the vehicle, stuff of that nature. Why, why that's coming back, let's open up toolbox and see what we can get into. Suspect's license plate. Eight two Mary Adam Lincoln nine two four no ten ninety nine. Alright, so there's no 1099s. They have multiple citations. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give a citation for improperly parked vehicle. And uh, that's going to be... Okay, there is no... Um... Oh yeah, he is. I was like, well, there's no animation for it. They kind of just said it. But no, we're actually going to be giving a citation to this vehicle for, like I said, improperly or being improperly parked in the first place more than six inches away from the curb. And actually, now that I think about it, that one back there too also... It's going to receive a violation uh, for parking more than six inches away from the curb. It's just a safety hazard because then it pushes vehicles more into other lanes. And we don't want that. So let's go ahead and issue a parking citation. And it's going to be on a benefactor dubsta uh, on Carcer Way. So we're notifying dispatch. Dispatch knows we're out here writing some parking violations. That charger looks amazing and I just heard an accident. Where was it though? I don't hear it. I don't. I don't see it. I heard it, but I didn't see it. Okay, so this uh, street's gonna be clear of sighting these cars. Uh, it's right around the corner, I think. Let's go ahead and just check that out. Oh wow! Like we had a pretty bad accident here. Not only that, this vehicle is also gonna be parked more than six inches away from the curb. So uh, we're gonna sight this vehicle. Oh, it looks like there was an accident. Let's see if we can kind of give uh, an investigation on how this happened. Looks like both of the vehicles were parked. Let's see if this one has any back damage. Okay, so someone in this immediate area has a headlight out most likely, uh, and they slammed into this vehicle, which in return just pushed it into this one. Um, I'm not sure if this would have been an issue if this car would have just been parked properly uh, within six inches or less to the curb. So what we're gonna do Let's go ahead and get this guy a uh, citation as well, and he'll have to deal with his, um, the fixed fees of the car accident that took place on this road because of it. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy a citation, and then we'll be code 4 to name. Okay, that BMW, silver in color, just rolled through the right on red without stopping. It'll be that one up there. Pull over, dude. Pull over. Or don't. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just pull up right behind him then. Maybe this one right here. God, I feel like I'm gonna have to fight for this spot just to get this guy pulled over. Because it's Emperor. You can look at me all you want. In the end, I'm gonna get him pulled over. Let's look. He's just star staring at us probably. I can't see him in first person. Go! <clears throat> Alright, right now he's not cooperating or something. Oh! Unfortunately, I can't back him up. Yeah, I knew it. Let's go ahead and... and Burton for possession of drugs for sale. This is so difficult sometimes, just throwing it out there. Okay, there we go. Now we got him in a more mimic area. Gonna get him up and more to the right. Come on, dude. Follow my instructions. Let's go ahead and get him pulled into this driveway. Bam! Into the wall. Nailed it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you mimic someone. <laughs> Just fucking right into the wall. I don't know. We're gonna make- it's always fun to do something new, get them in new positions and stuff like that. Alright, so wow, those look amazing, don't they? Holy shit. That's beautiful. Let's see what's going on with this gentleman. Why he decided to not fully I'm cop, stop. I'm a cop, you idiot. That's for some identification on this guy. Those look amazing, I gotta admit. Alright, sit tight for me, Jacob Mathers. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my vehicle so it's always on. Okay. Jacob Mathers. Don't mind the siren. 
Okay, valid license, no active warrants. For some odd reason, my vehicle keeps shutting off, but that's okay. Gotta learn to deal with it, I guess. Gotta get over here. Alright, so we're gonna just get this guy for How a citation for running the red light in the first place. Kiflo. I just re-asked for his identification. Not what I wanted to do. And, unfortunately, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna have to run it again. And, uh, that way it gives us the ability to continue talking with this guy. So we'll just give him a $50 citation for the red light violation back there on that stop sign. And, uh, he'll be on his way and we'll be code 410 aim. We have an armored car robbery taking place that we have to make sure we get to. Uh, they are pretty far. They're in an isolated location. Looks like they have SWAT going out to that location, or maybe I'm supposed to be SWAT. I'm not sure at this time. Uh, we'll know when we get on scene. If we have to suit up tactically, we will do that if necessary. Um, these are federal callouts, I believe, uh, that are coming up and giving these us these callouts in the first place. So we'll see what's going on. There's always, I, I am looking here in the next couple days to do a SWAT patrol too, so that should be fun. I don't know what the fuck's heading towards us, but it's green. That's gonna be the SWAT. Oh my god. Almost just fucking hit me. Alright, so they're going away from the scene of the crime. Not sure exactly what they're doing, but I'm gonna continue heading code 3 towards the crime. Whoa, shit is going down over here. Oh my god, they're getting hit. Gotta get down. I'm taking heavy bullets right now. It is going down. Oh my god. Holy shit. I've never been through anything like this. Oh my god. Okay, we're taking heavy bullets right now. I've been clipped in what I believe is the ear. There is still one alive. He has an assault rifle. Looks to be AK-47. This is... Oh my god. There's multiple suspects still left. I gotta get to a better location. Oh my god. He just got taken out by the fucking port. You guys, put the... Uh, there's no point in talking to these guys. Okay, one of them possibly is gonna be down. Looks like he took a headshot. I'm gonna go and clear. Okay, right now the groupie truck is to the side. Unfortunately, we have multiple security officers down. Thankfully, all bullets have ceased at this time. We gotta clear, though. I'm not feeling safe right now. I'm not sure if this Lincoln Town car is involved. Or if it's a uh, part of a secondary at this time. Okay, looks like the vehicle is gonna be cleared. Go ahead and get the um, back cleared as well. Okay, we're going to be code 4 with the suspects and the weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and retrieve their weapons, actually. Let's go ahead and get corner out to see. Uh, how did you even do that? Like, really, though, I'd love if you could explain that to me in some way, shape, or form, because that was pretty intense, dude. You're running over everyone, just throwing that out there. So, uh, I was going to look at our car, because I know we took a lot of bullets, but these guys are just fucking it all up right now. Them and their dumbass flashlight shit they got going on. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, since it's pretty chaotic and there's a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, we'll be code 4 tonight. Alright, at this time, we have a, uh, fugitive that has been uh, an escapee from the prison. Somehow, I've made it pretty far into the city at this time. We're gonna have to go and try to get to the location of where his last known to be and where he was called in. The fugitive's name is Daryl Freeman. He's wearing an orange jumpsuit. The suspect was in jail for second degree murder. And thankfully we kind of know his last known. So he won't be able to get away. Hopefully we'll be able to get this guy back in custody and return to the correctional facility so he can uh, continue his stay there. Let's see if we can... Uh, locate this guy. A lot of these calls are new. The federal callouts have put a different aspect into kind of searching and investigating an area. So again, our suspect is wearing an orange jumpsuit, so he will stand out. And again, these are pretty extreme conditions. 
So how he's able to do that, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and clean our clothes because I had a bullet hole in my ear. Okay, he looks like he's making his way. Okay, I got him right here. It's gonna be an escape fugitive. I just fucking hit my police car. And he's gonna be running from us now. You're gonna stop, dude. There's no... Eh, it looks like he had a weapon. Okay, he's gonna be physically running from us right now. And booking it up. The thing. I'm gonna get additional units out so that way hopefully we have a chance of getting this guy. Holy shit, I don't even know why he would be up here in the first place. How does he think he's gonna get away? See, he's probably heading up straight into the mountains right now. Gonna run straight back. Actually, look, yeah, he's right there. Where you at, dude? You better put your hands up. I got Sheriff Department coming. Uh, I totally lost my car. It's somewhere in the fucking abyss right now. Uh, I hate running uphill for people. He's an escape fugitive. We could just open fire. This is highly against uh, all things for a prisoner to be escaped from the prison. I can't stand running up fucking hills in this game. It pisses me off. And I also put in the foot pursuit aid, but that's not doing shit for me right now. Also, my... Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to get patrol units. I need everyone here. Help me out, guys. That's all I need is some fucking help. I'll jump up this fucking hill. It makes me run faster. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, right now, this is... I don't want to fucking run through the goddamn fucking shit for this guy. Okay. No! No! Oh, I'm pissed now. I tripped down the fucking hill. Are you kidding me? Damn. Oh, yeah, damn's right. I'm pissed the fuck off, that's for sure. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Okay, fuck it. Where's the AK-47? I picked it off one of these fucking douchebags. He's gone. He's fucking gone. Oh, my God. I have no patience. <laughs> I have no patience for this game. Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck you, prisoner. How is he running without any issues? And then I'm over there. Can't even make it up a goddamn fucking hill. Where you at, motherfucker? You're done. You are fucking done. Yeah, I, we got eyes on him, that's for fucking sure. Get the fuck on the ground, dude. Piece of shit. Get the fuck up and put your hands up. Piece of shit. Get on the ground, I ain't playing fucking tea party with you. Oh my god, I'd be scared to shit if there was a cop holding an AK-47 to my face. Well, that's gonna do it for this call. And a little bit of fucking Xanax is needed for the end of this one, I can tell you that. Jesus Christ, mother trucker. That's what you get, you shithead. Alright, so this is gonna do it for the end of this patrol. I'm gonna go take uh, as many drinks of alcohol as I can to kind of take the- I can't even get in my car. There it is. Fucking A. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, end it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of psychos psychosis. Psychosis break- God damn it. A little bit of psychosis breakdown. Fuck this goddamn game. And now he's dead in the back of my car. I give up. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until then, we will see you next episode. <laughs>